So, you were talking about parkour. What is parkour? 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 <laughs> I'm okay. really confused. I don't know anymore. So, jumping. Ask, uh, yeah, jumping, <laughs> climbing, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really flips? don't know. Flips or parkour? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There was a discu discussion like flips on parkour or not parkour. I don't know. Can, can, what, what is parkour? What is parkour? <laughs> what is parkour? <laughs> oh, parkour. Yeah. So basically, I have some uh, some questions. Mm -hmm. And the first question is. Yeah, because you know there's some yes. some uh, internet here watching blah 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 and uh, so maybe some of some of the people don't know you so who are you? Uh, should I talk into the camera or look at you? Depends on you. Talk to each other. Okay. Yeah. I'd rather talk at you then. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm Oliver Thorpe yeah. or Ollie Thorpe, and uh, I've been training parkour for about twelve and a half years now. Okay. And. Uh, I so you started like 2004? No, 2000 yeah. and... Well, maybe it's 11 and a half years then. 2006? Okay. Yeah, 11 and a half. 2006? Okay. Um, uh, and in, in Australia. Yeah. I, I grew oh. up... Oh, uh, yeah? I grew up in Australia. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, so I started uh, pretty much just training parkour once every week for mm -hmm. the first... Two or three years almost. Yeah. It was just sort of Saturday. That was parkour, and, and this was the day, go yeah. out train all day. Yeah. Like Saturday, twelve o'clock. It was it in my oh, time. Oh, it was now a bit earlier than that. But like a Saturday, ten o'clock, I think, and then okay. go out train, and then eat lunch together. Yeah. Keep training, and then. Nice. Uh, like and the good old days, huh? Exactly. Just doing uh, stupid stuff. Not not so many big drops like yeah, a yeah. lot of people started yeah, doing, but beginning. but a few big drops. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I trained for three years in Australia, yeah. and then I moved to to Denmark, yeah. and uh, came straight to Gallo. Why, why did you move to Denmark? Uh, because my mom's Danish, ah, and okay. I've spoken Danish all my life, ah, and okay. I kind of wanted to sort of see what uh, what the, the other half of my yeah. heritage or something like. I mean, I've been I've traveled to Denmark yeah. sort of every year, every yeah. two years since okay. growing up, uh, but I wanted to see what living. Living yes, in Denmark was like okay, interesting, and then so leave all like, behind and then just start here. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, okay. Um, my mum moved back to Denmark okay. as well, and I mean, my mum's family is yeah. is here, so it wasn't completely. Yeah. Okay. But, it wasn't but, like cold drop. And then, yeah. No, but pretty much because I mean, I came and then two days after I moved, I came to Gallo and I knew nobody. Uh, my okay. Danish was uh, it was rusty. kind of yeah rusty. I like I had a. I had quite a bit of an accent, um, <laughs> and like all of my sayings, I pretty much just took straight from English, translated them to Danish. <laughs> People looked at me and they're like, I know what you mean, but you can't say that in Danish. <laughs> so, uh, that's really, really good. Um, but yeah, and then I, I trained at Gallo for, yeah. for half a year and then moved to Copenhagen. Yeah. Um, a, year or two after that i uh, taught at gallo for for one year yeah and then i was kind of uh, just doing uh doing sort of stuff yeah. training teaching traveling a bit for a while yeah. until i started uh, studying civil engineering or okay. construction engineering yeah. buildings. you finished now and... and yes now i finished and i'm uh, i'm working okay just for me, personal question: Do you do you work full time? Yes, I work full time. Like f how much hours is it in uh, Denmark? Thirty seven hours a week. Thirty seven. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I work sorry, pretty much from. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I work yeah eight to eight to four yeah. every day. So another question: Like, um, do you know when we saw first time? Do you remember? <sighs> first time we met. Um, for me, it was like so I'm... present. I. I, I, I ask it every time. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I just don't know. That's why I ask. But when I w met you, I, I knew pretty exactly. Okay. I'm. I can't remember exactly, but I. I guess it would be when I was traveling around Europe with yeah. Andrew. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. In Berlin. No, we met in in, in, Berlin, in Fontainebleau. I was in ah, yes. We met in Fontainebleau. Of course. And I know exactly which jump. Ah, uh, the the big it, one. No. Uh, it was um. In the desert, they call it the desert. Yes. The Xi'an. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and there's this one jump, <laughs> this one jump on the tree. <laughs> no, there's um, the dino. Uh, no. Yeah, it's beside, uh, right ah, beside next to it. Okay. There's a a, tr um, a, a stone. Uh, it goes yeah. like this, and then you jump from here to the tree, and the tree is um, not like you don't jump like this. Yeah. You jump like this. Uh -huh. And it's pretty. It was fucked up. And then yeah. I saw you doing it, and we we were swinging a little bit, yeah. and and then you do it, and I was like, oh no, why is he doing it now? He was a little like, wow. And then I remember the jump. Yeah, yeah. And then then after I I recog re I was just getting aware. Okay, it's Ollie. Okay, he's <laughs> doing crazy stuff, you know. <laughs> and and then after all, yeah. yeah. But we can talk later about this because it opened. The, it it uh, said a little bit about myself and mm -hmm. uh, stuff like this. Do you want to have some stupid questions now or in the end? Because hit me. Hit me. Okay. <laughs> Can you do a backflip? Yes. <laughs> you know, like Bookie and I, we, we I, I wrote something. What shoes do you wear? I, ooh, I wear two shoes mainly. Uh, K-Swiss SI18. Nice. And uh, Onitsuka Tiger or Asics Aaron. Okay. They're... Probably at the moment my favorite shoes. I think maybe my favorite shoes all time were the Puma Cabana Racer. Okay. Um, but you, you hardly get them. Yeah, you, you can get them, I think, yeah. but not so much anymore. You know. Paid like 90 bucks or whatever. Yeah. yeah. What's your may most dangerous jump you did? My most dangerous jump? Where your hands get sweaty. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> Like dangerous consequences afterwards, or depends on you. Maybe you did a little a little jump, but you were totally drunk. Whatever. It was uh, dangerous or stupid. No, I haven't done very much drunk parkour. <laughs> not not anything dangerous anyway. Um, I I have a jump. I did it in Fondebro as well, mm -hmm. and if I remember now, I most of the times get sweaty hands because okay. it was like harsh consequences. It was more like ninety nine of my jumping capi uh, capacity, you know, yeah. and. I have a jump like I, I don't really think I have a jump like that. But I mean I remember one time in, in Amsterdam yeah. there's uh like some old shipyard area. Yeah. Um and then there's this one really big building, uh which is it was kind of emptied out and then they built a lot of like small little offices, so like lots of creative um companies they have mm -hmm. like their office there. Mm -hmm. And then down in the one corner there's a ladder all the way up. I think mm -hmm. it's about seventeen meters or something. Mm -hmm. And then you mm -hmm. can just jump between like girders, I mm -hmm. think maybe there's like two meters in between. It's mm -hmm. not a very big jump, mm -hmm. but um, I think that's probably like this scariest stuff I've done, especially at the start. Like it was kind of just you walked around and then ah, it's kind yeah. of scary. And then after like half an hour or something, I was striding between the girders um, and that was fine. In because, 70 meters high? Yeah, but there was, there was like bits of metal underneath. So if you did slip, you could grab something. Somehow, it's like yeah. you, You'd have to be like yeah. really, really unlucky or like yeah. shitty to actually fall yeah. all the way down. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that was. That's. You were... Yeah, that was uh, that. I think also, that's not so much sort of dangerous, but just it's a nice sort of feeling that you start off with something being really scary, like just pretty much walking, as I said, on the girders was scary at the start. And then after yeah. 20, 30 minutes, it was like, it was perfectly fine. Yeah. Just jumping, striding yeah, yeah. and... Okay. And so then, but, I, I will <laughs> jump to the question. I, I asked Lebrun, I, I want to make an interview with, yes. with you. And, and um, they wanted to ask some ginger questions, but I skipped them. Um, but <laughs> they, they said, ginger. yeah, <laughs> that's what they wanted to do. <laughs> I don't continue here. Uh, they wanted to know like, um, why do you commit so fast? If if there's a really scary jumps, they, he said like you know, and Labrum is Labrum, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, like, is there anything like why do you? They say like you commit so fast. Yeah. And they train a lot with you. Yes, and I guess I agree with them. Um, I. I think I'm good at listening to my own body mm -hmm. and like knowing my abilities. Um. And also knowing if I want if I want to do something mm -hmm. because um, I I I think kind of the the thing that I usually if I'm teaching people that I sort of tell them to do is I say go look at a jump and mm -hmm. then judge uh, 
can I do this? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is no, then go, you know, go away, do something yeah. else. Uh, if the answer is yes, then I ask, uh, do I want to do this? <laughs> Again, if the, answer okay. is, if the answer is no, then well, I like go away, do something. And then if the answer is yes, I say, uh, is this like, is it something that I, I'm going to do now? Yeah. And and then if I say yes, it's like uh, okay. Then I'm I might like oh, do some awesome, yeah. might do some practice sort yeah. of jumps and and it's it can still be really scary. Yeah. But I mean I, and it's it doesn't always work like that. But usually if if I if I tell myself like I'm gonna do this now mm -hmm. or yeah. like I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, yeah. then I kind of feel that that not doing it is is just it's lying to myself mm -hmm. and then. The next time I do a scary jump, it's like, yeah, I'm going to do this, go. And then yeah. I was like, ah, oh, it's it's easier to say no yeah. again. And kind of, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a yeah, bit weird. But I can feel it. Do you also have sometimes the feeling that you, if you commit to a jump to a scary, you have to blah, blah. The second time you do it, you're even more scared because you know you can do it and you have to do it again. Did you ever have this feeling? Um... Like, because I feel like if I commit to a jump, yeah. I'm, you know, full attention, you're like 100%. And then I have to do it again, you know, yeah, you know, and you're a little bit more, uh, a little bit relaxed, -er, but then, pff, go it again. You I know don't think this? so. You don't know? I, I think, like, if I've done it once, I I can tell myself, okay, I've done this, yeah, it was fine. Yeah. And then, and then I can do it again. Like, I might still be scared. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I'm good at, 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 like, telling myself I can do this, yeah. and then listening to like my rational yeah. side instead of uh, listening to the irrational fear yeah. um also with i don't know if you saw the video uh, of me climbing the building yeah this, um, this nine gig explosion yes afterwards. pretty much yeah. <laughs> um like there was behind the building uh there was the same climb but yeah. just lower yeah. i mean it was it was still pretty high yeah but i mean we me and Lauren we yeah. did that uh as just a test and like it was, it was fine there was no problems doing yeah. it so we went around the other side and like yeah we both we both want to do this what and was it on the other side also with this uh, middle section no the <laughs> the middle section we hadn't tried yeah, uh, okay. and yeah, from yeah. the ground we thought it looked easier than it yeah. was so we did it we did it once and we got up there and it was like oh shit can't reach it's like <laughs> So we had to go to the so right. We climbed, no, we climbed down again. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, oh fuck. It's like, shit, that's actually hard now. Uh, yeah. Okay, but we want to try it again. So the other time, I yeah, I I just went up. My arms aren't so long, so uh, <laughs> so it was like, I got up, reach, just reach the top, and then it's like one hand up. Okay, fine, up, go a bit to the right, so right, I can get yes. my foot up, yeah. and then go in, and then and then when, when I got past that, I was like, fuck, okay, now this you is, can't come back. This is pretty fucking scary, but. There's no way I'm going down the middle part again, so I can only go up. Yeah, and the the um, drop from the middle part was like, it was high, right? Uh, the drop, I think it was maybe like five meters, oh, five so meters up or something. Uh, possible, but... To like, uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay. With plants and stuff, so yeah. I mean, you you could take the drop. It yeah. definitely wouldn't be nice. Yeah, okay. Um, but like the like the whole telling myself like I've done it over here, I can yeah. do it. Then go. Yeah, then like, you, you and just, just go. Yeah. Which is, yeah, I, I don't know. Have you, you've probably uh, heard that? What's his name? Um, why can I never remember? He's a free climber, solo, free solo yeah, climber. It's, uh, Alex never, Honnold. Yes, Alex Honnold. Yeah, I can never climbed, remember when I climbed uh, El Capitan. The fucking, yeah, yeah. Free rider. Yeah, free rider. I mean, my mind is absolutely nothing compared to that guy, but uh, at, at least I, I don't think so. Um, he's I don't know, I think of, yeah. I mean, it might be it might be sort of the same like yeah along the same direction, but I think his his level of commitment and trust in himself is just insane. I think we we actually doing the same in parkour. We do dangerous stuff. We have we we take consequences. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I same. mean, it's it's definitely along the same sort of along the same lines. Yeah. Um, but you know, like, but, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. it's just a time thing, like, we do a jump, you know, and then you have to decide pretty, you know, yeah, in, the, in the beginning and all, and, and yeah. do it, or I don't do it. And he's, like, four hours climbing. Yeah, you know, I like, think that's the, keeping the cool for four yeah. hours. That's really... Going, that's amazing. Like, for us, we have to do it, we have to keep it for half a second yeah. when we jump. Yeah. And then, I mean... Yeah. Then it's kind of like, it's, it's yeah. over. If you land, you yeah. land. If you don't land, yeah. you fall down and die. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. That's uh, what I heard about. Uh, I read an inter interview that he yeah. likes uh, the high routes, 
Yes. Um, because if he fall down, he will die. Yeah. Okay. And Instead of just like yeah, yeah. being uh, you know like without legs or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, uh, yeah. But he's. I don't. I, I really yeah. would like to go to see this four hours climb. Yeah. Just without any cuts. Yeah, just okay. sit in the cinema, I would be there, you know, in my popcorn. <laughs> Four hours just first my hands <gasps> would be sweaty like this, you know. <laughs> yeah. I just want, you know, I saw him just talking yeah. to a guy, he was there, I want to know what they were talking, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, I heard that, that yeah. the guys, like, they were sleeping, kind of waking yeah, yeah, yeah. up, and they look out, and like, he's this guy without any ropes or anything. Yeah, just, just climbing yeah, yeah, past, like, yeah. morning guys, hi. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> I don't know. I, w I would like to go yeah. for it. Okay, so, one of the last stupid questions, and then we, we skip this part. It's like, who's your favorite tracer? Who's my favorite tracer? That is a... It's a very good question. Who is my favorite tracer? I, I don't think I have sort of one favorite tracer. Um, but... I th I th I'm going to go with Callum Powell right yes. now. Yeah. I Why? love Callum. He's uh because he's he's really really dedicated yeah. and he's like he just he does what he loves yeah. and he's re really good at it. Yeah. Um and I also li I like his level of uh, commitment with like he he doesn't just go out and do huge jumps which he does a yeah. lot. He does a lot of strength training yeah, as well definitely. and a lot of like preparation for everything yeah. he does and just his his movement is is very clean yeah and it's it's nice i yeah cool yeah is he grounded do you think is he humble or yeah or? <laughs> callum no <laughs> yes. he's not like the yeah, he jesse is. la flair or whatever you know like, <laughs> like callum is like the most down-to-earth guy yeah. sorry jesse but pff, i don't know i don't care yeah, I, I mean, Callum, he can, he can be an idiot. Like everyone yeah. can be an idiot. Uh, go around doing stupid stuff. But I mean, we, he's, he's such a nice guy. Yeah. yeah, he's such yeah. a nice guy. Cool. So, you were talking about parkour. What is parkour? 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 <laughs> I'm really confused. I don't know anymore. So, jumping? Uh, yeah, jumping, <laughs> climbing, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really flips. don't know. Flips are parkour. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. There was a discu discussion like flips are parkour or not parkour. I don't know. Okay, okay. What, what is parkour? What is parkour? <laughs> what is parkour? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what parkour is. It's, Me neither. I, I don't know. I'm I totally confused. <sighs> is this a stupid movement question? Parkour is movement. I don't know. It's... Yeah, I... Like most of the time, the whole discussion, uh, what is parkour? Uh, flips parkour. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I ignore it. I, mm -hmm. I, I can't be fucked with the discussion. Some people, some people say that it's a very important discussion, and I can see where their point of view's coming from. But I just, I, I, I know I can't be bothered. Yeah. I've. I don't know what parkour is. Parkour is is using obstacles, movement on obstacles. Yeah. Um, because for me, you know, like so much different stuff. Long time it was this. Uh, parkour is the art of efficient movement. A know? to B. A to B. Yeah. But you know, if I'm honest to myself, I never train like this. No. We do like crazy bumbling challenges where we do stupid stuff. Exactly. Or is it like this? Yeah, I think so. So maybe there's uh, this credo, you know, like. Train yeah. in this direction. Mm. I did it a long time. Yeah. But to be honest, I never. Mm. When uh, when did I ever help someone? You know, like with my parkour skills. No. I c a coach. Maybe some people say, okay, coaching is like just giving on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I like it. Yeah. But. I, but yeah. that's not what they meant with helping someone. No. They were no. like, yeah. save someone from a burning yeah. building. Yeah. And I don't do it. No, I've never done that. Do you have any credos or do you any any what credo a credo credo like a saying what you believe in ah. you know like in parkour like no, for me it's really. like this être dre so to be and to last I yeah. really like it because I yes. want to I want to uh, do parkour for a long time but do you have something like similar like no like, not, really. not really drink coffee drink coffee <laughs> 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 okay. It's kind of a Danish thing, huh? That you're so yes. addicted to coffee, huh? Uh, I'm... 
I don't think I'm so addicted to coffee. Um, I can easily go a day without coffee. I just, I just really like coffee. Like, I mean, do you get a headache if you stop for one day? Uh, I've been there. I have been there. I'm not saying I have, but uh, that was like I work as an engineer. Yeah. Um, there's there's coffee machines. They yeah. make shitty coffee. I don't drink the shitty coffee. Everyone else, like at my, well, not everyone else, but lots of other people at my work, I'm like, ah, yeah, this coffee's really shit. And they're like, yeah, the coffee's shit. And then they go out and take a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> they, don't, so, they don't change anything so about they, it. Yeah? No. Uh, so like, I mean, I have, uh, I've kind of gotten it from a couple of my friends who now work in cafes, baristas, uh, yeah, yeah. completely coffee nerds. And yeah. it's, it's kind of rubbed a bit off on me. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and now I have, like, I bought uh, an expensive uh, hand grinder and mm-hmm. I have uh, a f- Hario V60 pour over with, I have okay. my uh, kitchen weight, which I weigh up the amount of, like, beans, and then I grind it with my hand grinder. Wow. Uh, I, I time how long it takes to pour on, and yeah. I, like, the amount of water, and then I have my spreadsheet where I write, like, which bean, wow. okay, that's, what you're setting really did an I grind it on. Yeah, yeah. You're really an engineer. What was, the, what was the pour time, what was the brew time, yeah. and then how was the taste, uh, and then I can adjust to the next time. Yeah. But, so, I mean, I, I kind of, like... Um, working on it and like i like drinking a, a good cup of coffee which actually tastes good i don't want to yeah. drink i don't want to drink shitty coffee so like in that sense i don't think i'm addicted to coffee yeah. um so like i don't know. need coffee i just enjoy coffee okay and i mean coffee makes me sleepy which i don't understand so i don't drink it like to go out and do crazy heard, shit. I, I never drank coffee but i heard it from from many italians that yeah that they drink before they um they want to go to sleep yeah and then they fall asleep i don't know why no okay um, and that's a topic, you know, I have, I have three basics, basic topics I, w- mm-hmm. I want to talk about. Is what is parkour? Yes. Like, we didn't figure it out in any way. No, no. <laughs> then, my second topic is, like, um, where is the parkour community shifting to? Mm-hmm. Like, the last months, whatever, you know. And, you know, like, what, what, what do you think about competition? Because I know you, you participate in uh, some competitions. One. And, yeah, in, yeah, in the States. Yes. And I, I, I wanted to ask you personally, like, how do you stand to this like why you did it and how you enjoyed it and what you took from it and yeah it's a good question um yeah i was uh, in the apex international 2016 mm-hmm. um in the speed competition i went for and uh, there was also a uh, a skills competition mm-hmm. uh, which we could talk about afterwards mm-hmm. uh which i didn't like I didn't even know it was there, and then was it this who can do the biggest lache and stuff? No, like uh, this? it wasn't. It wasn't like that. Oh, um, okay. It was the I same saw, kind saw, of competition, video, yeah. but no, it was. Um, there were there were three rounds, mm-hmm. um, and it was like there was just different challenges. Mm-hmm. Uh, like there was some crazy dive roll shit, like okay. uh, over a box, under a rail, onto a, a box this way, and then yeah. precision to another box, okay. um, and just like fun, difficult uh, technical challenges. Yeah. Uh, and then there was, I think there was uh, a certain amount of people who went to the next round where mm-hmm. there were oh, okay. a few lists. And it was like, you had a scorecard yeah. and you just went around. And then if like you bothering. did the challenge yeah. first time, you got a tick. Yeah. And then second time, another tick. And then like the, there was a judge or yeah. something at each station. And yeah. you just had to try the challenges. Okay. Um, and then your next round, a few yeah. less challenges, less people. And then final round, um, which was uh, me... Jesse Leflair and Joel mm-hmm. Egiman. Oh yeah, from Switzerland. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, who went through that? But uh, I wasn't. I d- didn't really know it was there. And then it was like on. And I was like, okay. Yeah. So I. You like we people, like challenges. Huh? People started, and then I was yeah. like, this looks like fun. Yeah. This is just like training, going around doing challenges, and I'm like, I'm, I take my money. I'm gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> be in I this. totally can understand. You know, like Ninja Warrior. Yeah. You know. You yes, know? I've been in that as well. Oh, you have been there. Yes. You know, I like the obstacles. It's, yeah. it's, we are attracted to obstacles. Yeah. It's like this, you know? Yeah. But um, you wanted to talk about the speed, speed course yes, and whatever. Yes, the speed course is, is what I got invited uh, yeah. to join. Um, and I... I went, uh, went there because I, uh, I wanted to see what, what it was all about. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I th- kind of personally feel that trying it on myself mm-hmm. um is 
is a good thing before making an opinion a or judgment, before, yeah. yeah before making a judgment yeah. uh, forming my own opinion uh, so i wanted to see what it what it was about yeah that's pretty cool um, that's pretty, pretty that's cool. i've been vegetarian for two and a half years now yeah um first i wanted to i was going to be vegetarian for a month because i thought um just try i, I want to try experience. it i want to see what it's what it's like yeah. before making uh bef- yeah making an opinion yeah uh, having an or getting a an yeah. opinion um, and then after a month, I was like, I feel good. This is, I'm, yeah. I'm fine with this. It's, I'm enjoying it. I like yeah. the food and I don't, I don't agree with the, the meat industry. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so side, uh, yeah. side note, jump, side note yeah. whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. So I thought, so what are your experience? What, what, what did you, um, uh, took, took from it? Um, a, f- a couple of different things. I still haven't, re- I still haven't really sort of formed, uh, Final conclusion. final conclusion on yeah. it. Um, it was it was really fun. Yeah. I I, I like obstacle courses. Like yeah. you said, Ninja Warrior obstacles, yeah. running through things fast. It's fun. <laughs> um, yeah. But also, like also, it's. I don't think I I did it much. Like I didn't. The thing is with I with competitions as well. It kind of makes people push themselves mm-hmm. out of their comfort zone mm-hmm. and like further than where they feel comfortable because yeah. they want to win. Yeah. That's what you um, see in, in professional sports, like everywhere you see. It. Yeah. People go over the boundaries, yes. they go to competitions, injured, whatever, and they, they go over limits. Yeah. Yes. Um, and I, I saw some people who, who did that. Um, very, very good, talented people. Mm-hmm. Um, personally thought that they they push themselves too hard too, too much yeah. um and then and then i saw other people who uh who were just like they were just themselves mm-hmm. they dylan baker for example yeah absolutely amazing athlete yeah up there uh with my top definitely top athletes yeah. um so insanely fast and so insanely talented mm-hmm. um with his yeah, with everything, huge jump, mm-hmm. really good foot placement. Um, like and and he he just it was him. He ran, sprinted across the rails, mm-hmm. and you could just see he, that was he he knew what was happening. Yeah. Like he didn't push himself too far. Yeah. Um, he's in control. Yeah. He's in control, and yeah. he he won. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> yeah. Um, so like. And it it's hard to have like just have like. Don't you can't tell people don't push yourself too much. Yeah. Uh, so. Because uh, you know, if if we do trainings, we want people push themselves. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, I mean. Blah, blah, blah. But you sh- also shouldn't push yourself like over your capabilities, yes. which is it's. So I'm I'm not sure what, uh, how sort of how I feel about okay. competitions. To be honest, um, the whole event was like I enjoyed myself. Mm-hmm. Um, because I got to hang out with a lot of my really good friends. Mm-hmm. We had a lot of training, mm-hmm. uh, apart from the competition, which was just fun, mm-hmm. nice training, uh, yeah. really good people. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a nice opportunity to see a different country. I've mm-hmm. never been in, in the U S before. Yeah. So that was, that was interesting. So we're right now here on the international gathering. Yes. Would you like to see a, um, speed course competition here? See that? Yeah, that's kind of like no, I I wouldn't. Um, Why? I don't know. <laughs> I I I don't know. Um, I I don't think it fits with the whole spirit of the international gathering. Of so like, that's what I feel as well, you know. Yeah. But like, you know, to 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 let it out, and like for me, competition, it was it, it's always this toxic thing, you know, like it's yeah. kind of dangerous, you know, like yeah, it's. It, it poison people or the minds they, they do it not anymore for themselves i i just assume you know like like dylan baker you know he's doing it maybe for himself but there is this external yes thing you know like yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to do you want to get attention you want to get yeah. whatever i mean and the most powerful or... most powerful people don't have very much money so winning a competition where you get i don't know maybe a thousand dollars a thousand euros or something it's a lot of money for yeah. for yeah. most people and f- you know, for you know, like this one argument, you know, like there's always one, only always one winner. You yeah. know, like all the all the others, you know, like 
Okay, yeah. step aside. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the, the winner, okay, now you can have our label, our logo, blah, blah, yeah. you get more money, blah, blah. And this is, for, you know, it's, for me, it's toxic. And that's why I think also think it doesn't fit to this setting here. Yeah. And that's why I don't want to see any more parkour competition somewhere. But I want to make my mind up, you know. So I want to talk to people like you and yeah. other people. And like, okay, what's what's happening? You know, like yeah. what's happening uh, in in general? And maybe it's a good thing after all. Uh, maybe I come to the conclusion. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. like. I mean, I I enjoyed myself. I thought it was really fun. Um, I did it did it for myself. Mm -hmm. uh, at least I felt I did it for myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, if, if I had the opportunity to go to another one, I, I'm i not sure what mm -hmm. what I would say. I probably would go. Okay. Um, yeah. um, you know, like, I, I was in Venice uh, in, in April and I saw, you know, just some, some new Paco people, like, yeah. you know, like, and they were really small, you know, like, I think, 12 years or whatever yeah. and they grew up with with you know they did parkour since they were eight or seven yeah. or whatever you know it's like quite a reasonable amount of mm -hmm. time and they grew up with all these competitions yeah. and it's little it was little different you know it, yeah. th they were just used to it and i'm pretty like i do parkour for 14 years and you know i knew the the old times where you know you parkour.net blah 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 yeah. and you don't blah. And for me, it's like well, it's, it's hard for, for me to to understand and to yeah to to take this this step in, into this direction and so yeah I'm I'm with parkour I'm confused I don't know what's anymore no. I'm confused about competition I you know I'm I'm an old man I don't know what what I, <laughs> you know, I don't know anymore so I just want to I, I just want to talk and yeah. find find some conclusions yeah. I don't know. No, I don't know either. I can't help. And you. I don't I'm have. A, I don't have some <laughs> intelligent questions about this. You know. No. Like, I, I just. I don't know. I. I don't know what I should ask you. Like about this. But I, I don't. Obviously, <laughs> don't know any more than you do. Okay, so maybe later we will find some more. Maybe. So there's what is parkour. What is competition? And the last thing I want to talk about, like, what do you think about um, obstacles made for parkour? Like, play parks, indoor facilities, outdoor parkour parks. What do you think about them? Because I also don't have a clue to this topic. Because I know, you know, you're from Denmark, and Denmark yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is an amazing place if you want to train on obstacles made for parkour. What do you think about this? Hey, <laughs> I'm. I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, on one side, I really, I really love it. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the park here at Gallo, mm -hmm. it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the first park ever it's built, first ever, yeah. and it's probably still my favorite. It's yeah. it's so good. There's so There's many, so many, so many opportunities. So many. Um, and we keep finding new ones every year, like after what, nine, nine, I mean, I haven't been here for nine years, but yeah. I mean, it's been up for almost 10, 10, I've, yeah. many years anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's all still new stuff, yeah. heaps of new stuff that's yeah. happening. Um, but on the other side, like in, in Copenhagen now where I live, um, there's, there's really, there's not as many parks as, as people think. There's maybe more parks than a lot of other places, mm -hmm. but uh, they're all quite far away, mm -hmm. and um, and we don't have that many actual spots. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and I'm I'm quite bored with with the stuff that's been built for parkour now. Mm -hmm. uh, I well, why I would, are you bored? I don't know. Um, maybe it's because I'm not so creative. That's one maybe. of my biggest weaknesses. I'm I'm super not creative. Yeah, I. <laughs> to be honest, I would just I would like some more places where I can do a cat pass to a precision mm -hmm. in some different lengths. I, yeah. I, I, I you don't just have like so many, it, yeah? I just really like that. Yeah. I don't have to think, which I mean sometimes being creative is nice yeah. and I I enjoy it, but sometimes I just don't want to have to think. Yeah. Um, which is also one of the nice things with being uh, being at the gathering here. Yeah. Um, I. Like the past few years, I've been teaching, and yeah. uh, and, oh, yeah. and now you just and now I just have the opportunity to train, uh, yeah. just to join the classes, yeah. and it's it's nice sometimes just to be able to, and to have someone know. say do this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah. Peter says 
do this stupid job. Okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. <laughs> um, like, like yeah. for me, it's 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 the same because I'm I really find hardly it's it, I always when I'm training with people, and then I think, oh fuck, that you could do here, you yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. and I'm training there for for a lot of years, and then yeah. okay, and I'm really not so creative. No. Um, and for me, that's why I um, I. I did do a lot of parkour the last year. Mm -hmm. I did a lot of climbing, strength training, whatever. Yeah. And for me, it was this climbing and strength training. It was like, okay, you just go there yeah. and someone, you know, the, climb the yellow routes, just yes. go up, lift heavy shit, yeah. put it down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. it was easy. And parkour was always like, it's um, anstrengend. Um, it's, yeah, it's I know. Uh, yeah, heavy, hard, you know, you sort of, yeah. yeah it's, and some people say, like, you, oh, wait, I don't understand. Parkour is like just let yourself flow we find a tree and yeah. for me it was always hard yeah i'm also skeptical about the the parkour um park thing mm -hmm. there's one really cool side about it and it happened to me in copenhagen when i was at martin's house yeah i looked out of his window mm -hmm. I don't know, have you been to his new flat uh maybe i'm not there's sure there's a bit sure. uh, a, a big school okay and there's a parkour park left okay. side yeah and we wa watched out you know through the window yeah. and there was a guy training yeah. so we went out Training and then we trained with Christian the whole day. Nice. So this was awesome, you know, yeah. it's bringing people together yeah, yeah, yeah. so easily. <laughs> yeah. But I feel when I two years ago when I was here, I felt like um, in Denmark something happened. You change parkour mm -hmm. through training on obstacles. You change parkour and somehow. So it, it wasn't anymore like um, this. You discover the city, mm -hmm. but you discover more movements and you got like look at Ilya like. You know, it, Elias. It, Elias. Yeah. yeah, it's like he's doing like crazy monkey stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, and because I think because it's this limited limited space. Yeah. If you always train, if you if I imagine always train in Gallo in the mm -hmm. park, and you like to move, yeah. you will find this crazy movements. Yeah. And now Denmark, many people you, like you do really crazy stuff, and for me it's like it, it's so far away from this parkour i don't want to yeah. say it's bad it's just yeah, yeah. It, it, it evolved you know yeah like the yamakaze training it, we also changed everything about we yeah. don't train yamakaze style anymore no you know no so we changed or something changed and now it, it, it's changed again but for me that it was like you um you build something to make movements mm -hmm. and for me my approach was always like okay you go out you find something and yeah. you have to adapt yeah and now you're moving bo boxes and yes. that's what, what I I was a little worried about. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm uh, also, like, on on the one hand, uh, having the, the movable parks, yeah. setups, whatever you want to call it, like a uh, chain store in England, for example, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where it's movable, like, concrete walls yeah. and stuff, yeah. um, is, is really, is, is a great thing for practicing movements mm -hmm. like oh i want to practice my lache precision mm -hmm. and then you just do a lache precision and yep. then you can make it longer, make and, longer, it further, longer. Further, further, yeah. and then you can do insane length lache precisions so that's and that's what's happening in, um, in copenhagen as well you yeah. crazy swingers you know yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> um but on, on the other hand it's it's also like it it i find a lot of the time um especially for sort of mid-level um, people mm -hmm. that it it kind of just makes everything safe like when when you come out to a spot where you just like there's a precision um, but it, maybe it looks a little bit too far like the, the distance is fine for the mm -hmm. person but they're used to like having a small precision mm -hmm. where they make it longer and longer and longer mm -hmm. until it's that mm -hmm. length uh, which I I don't enjoy that, that like yeah. that's how that's a thing um I, I like being able to sort of which i think is one of the things that we were talking about yeah. earlier which i'm quite good at knowing commitment. my my limits yeah. and commitment so like yes. i can stand and look at a jump yeah like you feel it i can do this jump like the yeah. length is fine like yeah. knowing how far you can jump without yeah. having to actually like physically yeah. feel it yeah because and, and then for me it's all it was always like okay now you find this massive jump, mm -hmm. it's new, and but you don't know, you're not sure. Yeah. And then, you know, this concrete wall, I cannot pull it yeah. closer. So I have to walk the whole city and find an, a, a wall, you know, like you, you do the yeah, counting, yeah. and then yeah, it's a little inch smaller. Yeah. But on this way, 
you'll find a million other ways to move. Yeah. And that's what I really like about, you know, like training. Yeah. But on the other hand, I was asking myself like, fuck, if I look back like 10 years mm -hmm. and I would have this, this park, yeah. you know, my skill level would be somewhere else, you know, like, because it's like, like a, a booster. Yeah, you know? like, I, I definitely. It's definitely the booster. Or? The, yeah, yeah, the, like, the, the ability to, to do that, to move obstacles yeah. is like, if you also train other places, like it, it gives an am amazing, like a uh, way to, to boost your skills yeah. because, like yeah, because I mean, let's say there's this big, uh, cap house precision mm -hmm. that like maybe you could do, but mm -hmm. because you don't find anything that's a bit small, you, you never do it. Mm -hmm. But if you like, if you can practice, like, oh, okay, shit, I can actually do this, mm -hmm. then, then, yeah. So it's it's a good thing and maybe a bad thing. It's a bad thing. And I know this also a little bit from from climbing. Yeah. I, I hate it when people tell me how to do a, a climbing route. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a riddle. I want to I want to solve it on my yeah. own. You know, it's not like okay, now put your right hand there, yeah. heel hook, and then you get up. You know, and for me, it's a little bit the same in parkour. You know, mm -hmm. I I want to conquer this obstacle. And for me, it felt it felt like a little bit like cheating, you know, like yeah. the, the 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 spot with um, the double side step with yes. uh, Thomas. Thomas. Yeah, Thomas. Thomas. Yes, Thomas. For me, this was like this was a Copenhagen or like a Dan Danish training. I don't mm. want to make say it's bad because I learned I learned a fucking new skill. It was yeah, yeah, awesome, yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, like outside, I would never find something like this. No, I, I wouldn't wouldn't come up with with the idea. To a double double side, you know, yeah. like uh, yeah. But I learned a new skill, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I think I would never learn it outside. And I think this came from like this made up settings. Yeah. I don't want to say it's bad. It's no, just no, no, different, no. you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And that's why I'm confused. Yeah. That's why we're here. That's why I talk with with, with ten people yes. about this shit. Help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really confused. Yeah. Do you have anything else to say, like this or I don't know. I don't know either. Um, not really. I don't think. I have another question. Just yes. a short one. Do you do jumps? You 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 were able to do and don't do them anymore. Yes. Not because of injury, but because of scare or whatever. Yes. There's, there's jumps that I've like that I've done before and I look at it and I'm like that's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, same with me. Um, You're the first one actually like that says yeah that's for him the same. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sh like I. I think if I sort of put my mind to it, I'd be able to do it again. But like I mean, there's some things yeah that I've looked at and like hmm, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Same with me. Yeah. I don't know. I think we're kind. Of, we're coming here to an ending point. I have no some more questions. stupid questions. Hit stupid. me with the stupid questions. <laughs> what? Um, what should people? Why should people know you for? For what do you, people know you? Uh, is it right English? No, like you're known in the public. What should they know me for? Yeah. Making coffee? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, I, I do have a, a stupid question. Let's let's evolve this thing. What what's uh, the the typical stupid question if you? What is this typical? Uh, that can I do mean, a backflip, you know? It's, yeah, that's like the stupid question, right? Obviously. Um, I can do a wall flip as well. <laughs> Double backflip? Uh, in a trampoline. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> thanks. To water as well. That's fun. I like jumping into water. Yeah. Yeah, jumping from high things into water is amazing. <laughs> it's so much fun. Cool. Yeah. Like, is it like has it to be outside or is it uh, into a swimming pool as well? It's it can be into a swimming. Pool. I think outside's more fun. Yeah. Um, but same same with parkour parks, huh? Like training in the in the city or training in a parkour park? Is yeah, it like yeah, swimming yeah. pool? <laughs> yeah. I remember I was uh, in Switzerland two years ago, I think. With, Bern, uh, huh? with Yes, uh, but it wasn't in. I was close to Bern, I think. Uh, with mm -hmm. it's a four, um, and we went to. Uh, swimming place yeah. uh, i think they've uh, done cliff diving championships there mm -hmm. um and it was it was amazing just yeah. jumping off 
fucking high. Yeah, you like it, yeah? Yeah, it was good. It was nice. And then watching uh, Simon and Bart oh, Simon. doing uh, Gainer from like yeah, yeah. 18 meters. Bart as well? Yes. Yeah, Bart, Bart is crazy. And Simon, he did some cliff jumping before. Yes. Yeah. Bart is crazy, but also very good. He's really skillful. Yeah. Yes, very skillful. Um, yeah. yeah, and I mean, I just jumped off. It was scary enough. It was good. Uh, a yeah. bit lower. I I like doing double backflips of yeah. kind of high things, yeah. um, but too high. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any more stupid questions. No. Nope. I don't have any more intelligent questions, if they were intelligent. But I like the conversation. Yes, I like me to too. talk to you. So. It was nice. Um, Thank you. Yeah, have a nice week on the gathering. I will. Cool. Ah, I liked it. <laughs>